Hi, good day. Welcome to another encouraging word. My name is Dave and I'm in Killarney, Manitoba. It's spring-like weather out today. So glad that you've joined us. Glad that you hit the like button, hit the share button. Uh, we are sharing a brief word of encouragement from the Bible. And this week we're following up on Sunday's message, which spoke about the fact that God sometimes allows people to get into impossible situations, situations in which there is no way out, only so that he can make a way out and he can make it possible for us to find deliverance and find victory. Certainly in Exodus 14, we see that uh, Israelite is trapped by the Red Sea in front, the uh, Egyptians coming behind them, there's wilderness on either side, there's no way out for them unless God delivers them course you know the story. Another plain example of that is found in the book of Judges where we read about a man by the name of Gideon. At that time the Israelites were overwhelmed by uh, the enemy, the Midianites. They had completely um, invaded and overrun the country. Um, they dominated the life of Israel so much so that the Bible says that the Israelites left their homes and went and stayed in shelters and caves in the wilderness, in the mountains, hiding from the enemy. The Bible says, whenever the Israelites planted their crops, the Midianites, the Amalekites, and other eastern peoples invaded the country. They camped on the land and ruined the crops all the way to Gaza and did not spare a living thing for Israel, neither sheep nor cattle nor donkeys. All their livestock is killed. They came up with their livestock and their tents like swarms of locusts. It was impossible to count them or their camels. They invaded the land to ravage it. Midian so impoverished the Israelites that they cried out to the Lord for help. The Israelites had to hide from this invading army uh, in order to survive. And uh, we, of course, uh, first read about Gideon when he's discovered by an angel hiding from the Midianites as he threshes out his grain. Uh, God raises up Gideon to be a deliverer, and God instructs Gideon to call for an army, and 32,000 people answer the call. 32,000 men come to fight uh, the enemy, and God says, you have too many men. I cannot deliver Midian into your hands, or Israel would boast against me. My strength has saved me. God says, you got too many people. If we won the battle Mid, uh, your army would say, you know, look what we've accomplished. And God says that's not going to do. And so uh, God had all the people who were afraid, all the men who consider themselves to be fearful, uh, were told they could leave. And 22,000 of the 32,000 left. Uh, Gideon is left with an army of 10,000 to fight this innumerable uh, horde of invading forces. And God says to them, you still have too many. And so God um, devises a plan that involved drinking water. And out of the whole thing, as you know the story, only 300 are left. 300 versus an army that the Bible says is almost impossible to count. 300 is going to take them on. Uh, this is a situation that is impossible. And not only that, but God says, I don't want you taking swords. I want you to take a trumpet. I want you to take a clay jar and put a light inside, a torch inside. That's what we're going to use to fight this battle. Like This is crazy. It's an impossible situation, but that's what happens. And of course, you know the story. You know that with God's help, um, when the Israelites, the 300 Israelites attacked at night, the uh, uh, invading forces were so uh, uh, confused that they turned on one another, fought one another, ended up running, fleeing from Israel, uh, leaving the Israelites so that they could um, live in freedom. We are reminded, of course, that's not the size of our talents or the amount of resources we have uh, that, that brings us victory. Our victory comes from the Lord. We need to hear the word of God. We need to obey it every day. And when we do, no opposition will be too strong. Uh, no challenge or obstacle will be too tough. 
with God, there is always victory. God wants to work in your life today. He wants to bring you victory. You can never say you aren't strong enough or that you are not smart enough or that you lack resources. With God, the odds are always in your favor. Let me say that one more time. With God, the odds are always in your favor. With just 300 men, the odds were overwhelmingly in favor of the Israelites versus the Midianites. And uh, with God, that's true of you as well. So put your trust in him. And of course, remember, he gets all the glory. Whenever victory is won, God is glorified. Let's pray together. Father, uh, I don't know what all the challenges are that we're facing today, but sometimes we feel like we're not enough. We're not good enough. We're not strong enough. We're not smart enough. We don't have enough money. We don't have enough resources. We don't have enough uh, ideas or wisdom. God, uh, you are always more than enough. And so, Father, I pray you would help us, whether it's in our personal life, whether it's for the church, whether it's in our personal spiritual lives, whatever it is that we're dealing with, God, help us to know that we always have enough in you. Help us to be wise. Help us to be um, careful in what we do. But Lord, may you always be glorified and always receive all the credit. We thank you for your goodness to us. Thank you for your grace in our lives. And we pray your blessing each one today. Amen. Hey, thank you so much for watching. I trust that you have a great day. I trust that God blesses you abundantly and that you know that God's hand rests upon you, his favor, and that God is looking out for you. With God, you always have more than enough. God bless. Have a great day.